Is everyone there pre-med? Not after Gen Chem. Hi, I'm Sophia and I am a first year student at Washington University in St. Louis, or WashU for short. I actually just finished my very first semester at WashU, which makes me feel like I pretty much know everything about WashU already, despite the fact that all of my classes were online and I spent the majority of my time locked inside my own room. But all of that doesn't matter because I'm out of ideas. So today we're doing a WashU Q&A. Let's go. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for sending in such wonderful questions for me to answer. These three particularly stood out to me. It's 2021 and homophobia is still peak comedy. Okay, first real question. Is it next to cornfields? The answer to that would be no. Contrary to what we all learned in fourth grade geography, the Midwest has much more than just cornfields and conservatives. WashU is actually located in the city of Clayton, Missouri, and it's this really cute little suburb of St. Louis. It's definitely not like New York City, but it's not exactly just in the middle of cornfields either. <laughs> Are the boys all white bread Midwestern types? Surprisingly, the answer to this one is also no. You will find a lot of fish holding deer hunting rednecks on Tinder, but WashU itself is pretty diverse and you will find a fine selection of cultured men and women. What's WashU? Here's a fun fact for you guys. WashU is actually an acronym and it stands for what all Ivy Leagues wish they were. University. Do I apply? Yes. You have to apply to get in. I know some schools have this policy where if your mom was on a hit 90s TV show, then you're automatically recruited for the rowing team and then you can get in that way. But um, unfortunately, WashU doesn't do that. Or maybe it's just because daughters of celebrities don't really want to spend the next four years of their lives living in the middle of cornfields. I don't know. Are the Tempur-Pedic mattresses overhyped? No. Is everyone there pre-med? Not after Gen Chem. Rate St. Louis 1 to 10. Unfortunately, we are no longer T10, so I will have to give us a 16. How are the professors? Amazing. Literally like amazing, wholesome, cute individuals. Describe the student body in one word. Nice. Everybody here is genuinely so nice. Like I talked about this in my Why Wash You video, but the Midwestern hospitality is real. How much is tuition? So tuition is normally like $55,000, which is a lot, but the Urban Scholarship generously covers all of this plus some of my housing and the rest is covered by outside scholarships. If you would like to learn how you can win money too, check out my video on college scholarships. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate WashU's response to the pandemic? Well, I mean, I made it out alive and unscathed. The school didn't shut down after two weeks and no one died, so 8 out of 10. What's your major? Does WashU provide good course advising services? Like many other mentally unstable young adults, I am majoring in psychology. I would say WashU's course advising services are pretty good and you can find them in the form of Reddit threads. What are your favorite and least favorite aspects of WashU? My favorites are the people, the classes, the opportunities, the food, and the mattresses. Mostly the mattresses. My least favorite part is that the student health services are pretty subpar. Favorite and least favorite class. My favorite class was thinking about religion and my least favorite class was introduction to computer science. Favorite dining hall food slash favorite meal at BD. I don't know if this is obvious, but I love the stir fry at WashU. I get it a minimum of three to four times a week, as you can see in my videos. And the way it works is you order on an app and you choose what type of noodles, what type of veggies, and what type of protein you want, and then they make it fresh to order. And then it takes like eight minutes for them to prepare, and then you walk there and pick it up, and it's all fresh and ready and hot. And yeah, those are all the questions that I have time for today because my camera is really quickly running out of storage. But this was really fun, and if you guys want me to do another one, please like and subscribe and comment down below. And also follow me on Instagram at underscore SophiaZoo underscore. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!